my son Stephen and my daughter-in-law Brittany um, courageously, in many ways, uh, have decided to make it known publicly that they've been involved with this uh, in vitro fertilization for a couple of years, trying to have children, trying to start a family. Um, it's been a very private matter uh, for all of our friends and family. Um, it's been, it's had its challenges, um, but they've really worked their way through and uh, um, they're very, very close to being able to, uh, um, for Brittany to get pregnant. Um, and it's been, a, it's been a difficult process. Um, but because of what's gone on with the Alabama Supreme Court, um, and, and what may be in, in some ways almost a reckless decision by failing to understand that IVF process, um, it's about people trying to start families and create life, not, not, not end it. Um, you know, I am a pro-life and pro-family and pro-child and I am a conservative Alabamian and I'd like to use my platform to call on all three branches of, the, of our state government and, uh, and encourage them to make Alabama the most pro-family, pro-child state in the nation, removing the obstacles that are now facing these couples that are going through the IVF process. Um, government is supposed to help us and our families, not prevent my son and his wife from having their first child or, 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 or my grandchild.